Jeopardy! How to make, prepare and play it, both online and offline. To get to the site, it's superteachertools.com forward slash Jeopardy! So, this is the homepage for, for the site and this is where you can make your Jeopardy game. You scroll down, then you can click here to see Flash Jeopardy in action, just have a very quick look as it uploads and this is called, well you can see there's different things and you can click on computer info for <coughs> What does URL stand for? If you know the answer, you can see there are sound effects. And Team 3, we gave the answer wrong, but it was correct. Alright, so you can see how that works. Now, what do we do from here? <clears throat> you have some choices available for you. You can play this game online and offline. If you wish to play it offline, that means you won't need an internet connection. And if you wish to do that, then download this Flash Jeopardy. It's available for PC and for Mac. What I suggest you do is to make a folder in, uh, in, your, in your documents. Call it Jeopardy. Within that, save this Flash file. And the text files that you make here, these text files will be uh, the questions that you have produced. Save them in the same folder as the uh, Jeopardy Flash here. So, why don't we go ahead and make a new game. By clicking here, you come to these categories. And if you scroll down, then you can give this game a name you call it linguistics or maybe you wish to call it semantics or mathematics or whatever your subject is who made the game write your name there and write your email now the reason for this email this is optional but if you do write your email then you can go back to this main site and edit your game here instead of having to edit it within uh, the text document itself because it's easier to edit it as, uh, on this site and once you've given your thing a name then you give it categories so for example if it, if it was about my linguistics course then I might have a section called uh, semantics syntax um, I'll call it different categories here's an example this is a game based on on a US government so you can see category one is called branches of government, executive branch, legislative branch, judicial branch, and so on. And the quiz is actually called branches of government. Now, you have in Jeopardy, uh, in each category, there are five questions. And for each question, there's a different value. It gets higher. So your questions should be in graded difficulty. My suggestion to you is, is, instead of just making the questions by yourself, sure, you have to try this out, do it, but um, ask your students, your pupils, to uh, put your, get your pupils into groups and ask them per group to make eight questions and then to order these questions in order of difficulty. They to send you in these texts uh, in a document of some kind and then you cut and paste them in. Better still? let your students and pupils see this video tutorial and get them to make it directly online. So, this is how you make the questions. Once the questions have been made, you simply click on Create Game File. Then you come to this page and you see there's a a text file txt now you can play this game online by clicking here 
and if you right click here then you can save this text file somewhere on your own hard disk and save it in the same place as you have the Jeopardy Flash and you'll be able to play it there. So you can see it's very easy and very simple to make. I'm going to take you into now my own hard disk so you can see how to play this game offline. So to do that I've made a file here called Jeopardy and you see in Jeopardy there's my flash file and here are my texts here. So I'm going to click on this flash file here and I'm going to remember I'm going to, I want to bring in this text here it's called grammar. So I'm going to click on Jeopardy and here remember this is on my hard disk here I'm going to write grammar because it's in the same folder click on load file and now I can begin to play and these are questions I've made to, about grammar so that's how to play it offline back to the main page and you've already seen how to play it online now what else can you do <laughs> There's quite an amazing game library here and if you click here then <clears throat> it'll take quite a bit of time to load this page and the reason is because there are many many Jeopardy games. These are made by different people um, and as you can see unfortunately there is no search button which is a real shame otherwise we could have um, searched for games to do with uh, our particular subject areas. Nevertheless you can um, look through these you might find something that is of use for you. For example Rocking School, History 6, um, Oral Pathology Syndrome. Shall we have a quick look at this? I'm not sure if I'm, I will get many questions right here. This is the salivary gland tumours. <coughs> I definitely wouldn't get any of these. Once again, let's go back to the main page. Another aspect is um, we've already seen how you can play online, and there are some more tutorials for you, things that I've said here, but also how to insert pictures into my questions. And there's a nice little uh, Adobe Flash presentation which talks, which guides you through how to insert an image. So, this is a uh, Flash Jeopardy. It's great fun. Enjoy.